Take a look at this lung. You could see towards the periphery, there appears to be relatively grossly normal lung tissue. Perhaps you could even see some grossly normal lung tissue going a little bit centrally. Notice here's a pleural surface. But notice that the vast majority of the cut section of this lobe consists of firm areas which do not look like lung at all. This is a very, very extensive carcinoma, grossly, and that's what you should be suspicious of. So let's take a look at the microscope now and see if we are correct. Here is the lung. Here is a portion of the lung in which you could recognize alveoli. Here is a portion of the lung, lung along the west coast here, which does not look like alveoli. It looks like glands. And you could recognize this guy here on the far left as being a lymph node. But let's take a look at the lung first. In the lung, we can see that the structures are basically glandular again. They're not squamous, they're not oat cells. Uh, and the, and even though it is a glandular infiltrating malignancy, with not too much of an imagination, you could think, well, if these are normal lung alveoli out here, maybe these were still kind of a remnant of alveoli out here. Maybe this is a bronchial alveolar or maybe if you could uh, blow it up even more, you could see that the cytology of or the nuclear features of these tumor cells are not terribly horrible. Uh, this is a bronchioalveolar carcinoma. Here's the same lung. And here's an area in which you could probably see a few tumor cells out here uh, away from the main mass. This could very easily be some here in here and let's see are we going to find some normal alveoli too i guess not but you could see that the vast majority of this is not tumor the vast majority of it could be fat inflammatory cells here's a vein these are probably fat spaces i think you could make a good case for areas like here and here and here and probably here and definitely here as being uh, tumor areas. And um, I think if you look out here, I can convince you, maybe, that you could see some uh, remnants of alveolar hair. You could see alveolar septae. You could see them engorged with uh, capillaries. And you know that this uh, northwest area looks more like a tumor area because it is. So you can see a little nest out here, and the more we drag it over, the less normal lung you see, and the more nests of these little well-differentiated adenocarcinoma cells you see. Let's go to uh, that big guy all the way on the left coast, which we said was a classical lymph node. It is a classical lymph node. You can see that it has a capsule, you could see maybe here for sure already remnants of subcapsular sinus and you could see the subcapsular uh, follicles that you see in the cortex. But what else do you see when you go a little bit closer? You could see that there's a, in the subcapsular sinus out here something that doesn't look like a lymph follicle. This clearly is a lymphoid follicle. But is this a lymphoid follicle? Should you get lymphoid follicles in the subcapsular sinus? No, these are nests of tumor cells. And this demonstrates one of the most spectacular principles of pathology, is that if you were only to see one or two small, tiny, early areas of involvement of metastatic carcinoma, into a lymph node, it's probably going to be in the subcapsular sinus. That's why when pathologists spend their whole days looking at lymph node, if one looks normal, they devote their attention uh, uh, clearly to the uh, periphery of the lymph node in this subcapsular sinus because anatomically, the very first tumor cells to enter a lymph node would have to 
enter, enter through the uh, afferents into the subcapsular sinus. In this area here, you could see a better differentiation of gland now, can't you? So not only do you see that there are occasional probably tumor cells out here, but in some areas, you should see glands inside of this lymph node. The normal lymph node has no epithelium. It has lymphocytes, it has blood vessels, it has fibrous tissue, it has macrophages, it has plasma cells. It has no epithelium. So whenever you see epithelium or glands inside of a lymph node, you could bet it's metastatic carcinoma, even if it looks very well differentiated like this does. Here's the capsule. Here's a pericapsular blood vessels. Here's the subcapsular sinus filled with cells. And here's an area where the metastatic tumor cells are actually differentiating to form a glandular pattern. Metastatic carcinoma from that lung into a lymph node. I've talked too much already. Thank you very much.